Oh, oh, oh no. What is it? I want to see what it is. Oh my god. It's a massive snake. What, what that? What that? Oh, okay. What are we doing? It's just sheer willpower, man. Look at these shots, man. I am so curious as to how strong Jinu actually is as a hunter right now. I would love a, a number or, or a rank to be put to that. That's like my number one question right now. How much stronger has he gotten over the course of these couple episodes while he's had this system with him and he's been training and leveling up and these questions still linger in my mind about could there potentially be other hunters out there that have become players or have grasped this leveling system and I'm also really curious about where we go with Jinu's character from here. If you look at Jinu from episode 1 compared to Jinu at the end of last episode, episode 4, such a stark contrast from the way he carries himself, obviously how strong he is, his mindset, the things he's able to do now, the way people are starting to look at him like the other hunters at the end of last episode, even Juhi. It's all very interesting and I love the way things have progressed. Last episode was fantastic, giving you a little taste of possibly what's to come in the rest of this season and I'm really excited for it. This show is doing a lot of the things that I love from the concept, which I've harped on about a lot, the slow build up of the story and the characters and some of the shots and scenes from last episode are just some of my favorite things that I've started to introduce. So I'm really excited for the rest of the season. Just quickly before I get into the episode now, if you guys are enjoying these videos, please consider leaving a like and subscribe to the channel if you want to see more content like this it would really help me out and I'd really appreciate it and if you feel like supporting the channel just a little bit more there's a link to my patreon down below but with all that being said it's time for solo leveling season one episode five the e rank are they talking about is this Jinu already is he being talked about like this oh is this what we're doing is this what we doing? Yeah, he he been he been training. It's the system, the system difference. Oh my god, dude, look at him, dude. Even his face, he looks so different. <laughs> this is what I'm saying. Even the way he carries himself. No shot! And he's so oblivious. There's symbolism here. So oblivious, man. It's very stereotypical, obviously. Like, he gets super cut and jacked, and all of a sudden, he's getting attention from, you know, the ladies. But classic anime protagonist. He's completely oblivious. He's only focused on his training, right? And the reason I say symbolism is, I think, because of Juhi, maybe. Like, he hasn't paid a whole lot of attention to, to Juhi at all, really, after, you know, him being able to train like this. So, so we'll see what happens with all of that. Let's listen to the sick bass line again. Okay. Okay, there's only seven S ranks. Okay, that's good to know in the country. I was wondering about that. Training, yep. Hmm. <laughs> even, even she's noticing. <laughs> Come on, bro. Own it. He's taller as well? That's wild. Dude, he really... He, his whole situation looks different. Even his voice almost seems a bit deeper. How's this little thing heavy? Come on, bro. Oh, he's already... Yes, sir. <laughs> yep. Level 18. Oh, he's got points. Okay. Spread it out. Spread it out a little bit. Just a little bit. Good. 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 Nah, he's thinking about everything now. This pleases me greatly. Interesting. Magic. Nice. No, I appreciate that. Landlord. Oh, no. Everyone's worst nightmare. Oh no, oh no. 
Bro, think of the raids he could be doing right now that he's so much stronger. Get involved, man. Earn that money. Yeah, right. He wouldn't know. Yes, exactly. Yes, sir. Get involved. Oh, that, what? You could just scroll through the, the, the dungeons or the, the gates? Oh, that's... Uh, it's so cool. Yeah, get reappraised. Okay, they all S ranks, maybe? That's the guy we saw. That's Cha, right? And that's Choi, maybe? Yeah. It's interesting to think about it from his perspective, right? Yeah, okay, okay. That's very smart of him. I think if I... It's really interesting because you think about from the end of last episode. How I was saying, look, he had the opportunity to step in and be the hero and be in the limelight and be like, look, I'm not weak anymore. But he chose to just do his part to help out and then disappear. And he's thinking about this a lot, right? Like all the, the attention, like people will be thinking, how is he doing this? So he's really going about this smartly, you know? Like he's not jumping into any crazy decisions or doing anything rash. Which maybe is to do with like, you know, his perception and his intelligence like leveling up. But it's great that he's thinking about this stuff so maybe we'll get a situation where he's like kind of becoming really strong but he's like all in the background and people don't know what's going on that could be cool we'll see what happens with all that okay he wants to learn more about what's going on first that's good he wants to be able to explain it i guess Huang, okay <laughs> famous for the wrong reasons right now dude oh this will be interesting does he have to hold back if he's still a rank potentially? Damn, that probably would have stinged like a week ago. We just need you to meet the quota. C rank, no problem for Jinu right now. Oh, that's tough. Oh, okay, nice. So not the spoils, but he's going to get the money. Interesting. Mm, can he like, he can feel what rank they are just by looking at them. But if they don't have a healer, maybe Jinu will have to do a little bit more work. Or maybe this is a setup somehow. Yeah, yep, this is clearly a setup. Perception, man. You. This guy's gonna die. He looks just like the kind of character that's gonna die in this situation. I'm so sorry. His armor looks really cool, though. <laughs> I think the opposite might happen, my guy. Well, this is this is really interesting. Nah, not heavy for Jinu. Damn. Damn! Looks really cool though. I feel like this guy is trying to take all the spoils for himself from this or something. Right, 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 right. But it, uh, something tells me right now C will be fine for Jinu. We'll see. Well, this is ominous. This pleases me. That's really cool. There's no way. Th this popped into my head, but there's no way we go back this soon, right? I need to remember this information because I will forget. Yeah, mana stones you mine, essence stones from mobs. Okay. That's what I'm saying. Jinu is so different. It's just so interesting. Yep, he got those senses. What is it? Okay, alright. I don't know, bats? <laughs> oh, is it the ants again? Oh, look at all these holes, man. Yeah? These the same ants from like episode one? Yo! 
Oh, that's so cool, man. I want Jinu to fight, man. I don't think he can, though. He needs to go under the radar, maybe. Ooh. Th these look kind of different, though. Damn, he... Yeah, taunt. Yeah, oh, I love it. The countdown. Good, good. This pleases me. <laughs> God bless him. Nice. I'm thinking about what he said though. Something feels off. Is it, is it, the, is it them? Is it the monsters? Oh, oh, that's what he's saying. And that's what Jinu was thinking about too, maybe. Oh, bless. But, okay. Yep, yep. It's, the, it's Jinu and... But what was this guy's not like Jinho or something? They're probably in danger. Oh yeah. Okay, I think I think I remember this guy. That's so cool. So he, I think he was in episode one, right? This is the same guy from the news interview. The bi big S rank. Why are we paying attention to him this episode? I wonder. True. Yeah, 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 yeah. I wonder if it's all six of them. Oh no, I see, I see webs. Oh no, I don't do this, man. I don't do spider stuff, man. Oh shit. That seems like a lot. They can take a billion? Bro, they can take all that? Okay, that's lit. Interesting. Younger brother. Okay. Oh, this is going to be handy. So they don't get any of the spoils, but... This isn't spoils. This is part of the dungeon. Yep, exactly. Exactly. Good man. Okay. What's that? <laughs> okay, yeah, 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 yeah. I'm not sure how I feel about this guy yet. Is he good or not? This is all part of a plan. Okay. Oh, this is so interesting. So obviously this is all on purpose and he wants these two to obviously be killed by the spider. Yeah, th this is all on purpose. But now no one's going to see what Jin is about to do to the spider. Interesting. Except for the guy that's still here. Seal it off. Dude, he's a fr Look at their eyes, man. There's no proof as to what actually happened. Yeah. It's very easy for people to do stuff like this. Look how different Jinu looks now compared to him, man. Like his hair, his face, everything. Nah, I think you were done either way, but you got Jinu here. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know what time it is. God damn, it's so... Uh, I hate it. But you're stronger, Jinu. Level. Oh. Compare it. Let's go. Come on, talk to me, Jinu. Is it the dagger? Oh, it's so cool. Look at that thing. Bro, look at him. Yeah, you will. Ooh. Oh, 
That felt like, that only felt like half an episode, man. Bro, th th this is what? Five episodes, we've had four cliffhangers. Okay, so right off the bat, they're really drawing attention to how much Jinu is developing. Not just how strong he is or like how mentally he's able to like perceive things and whatnot, but his actual physical appearance is changing. Like his whole face looks different, his hair, obviously he's just ripped now. And Gino draw attention to, he's even a little bit taller, which is so interesting. Like is the system doing that much to his body? I don't think it's aging him. I think it's just making him all around like a, a better fighter. And he's still in the hospital at this time. Like he's still in his room, but he's been doing all of his training and all the nurses are drawing attention to how much he's been training, how different he looks now. They're all gushing over him. And then the one nurse that comes in to tell him that he can you know be discharged is just so into him at this point that she ends up asking for his number and, and like i've talked about this already but Gina was so oblivious to the situation he's solely focused on on his training and getting stronger and what that could mean for him and, you know and his family and his mother and whatnot but already the difference that all this leveling up is making to him is affecting people around him like like people are starting to notice all right and this s rack hunter Bake, I believe you pronounce it as. I am actually going to go back right now and check episode one to make sure that this is the guy that we saw because I hate getting stuff wrong like this when the information is just out there like this. Okay, we did see Bake in episode one and he's the guy who has like, you know, the, the claws situation on his hands and he showed that off a bit more today. And it's really interesting that we flashed to him a few times today and I really want this to be the case, but at the same time, I could be reaching. Like Gina is watching Bake's interview on TV and then she turns it off and then Jinu comes out of his room and he's obviously been getting so much stronger. Are they kind of making a parallel to perhaps that's where Jinu is headed to maybe an S rank level? I doubt he is there yet, but I think obviously that's the direction Jinu is headed in, right? He's going to become very, very strong, but that's very interesting. And I think maybe next episode, there might be some more S rank comparisons, but we'll have to see. But I really like what they're doing here with that. But like I said before, even Gina is starting to notice that Jinu has been working out and he's gotten a little bit taller. And like I've been saying as well, even just the way Jinu's carrying himself, the way he's talking, the way he looks, it's just all so different. Like this leveling up is having such an impact, not just on how strong he is, but in so many other aspects of his life as well. And after Gina goes, he's looking at the points he still has available to distribute to his attributes after defeating the big snake, I think. And he does spread them out a little bit, which I'm really happy about. But he's looking at uh, vitality and intellect, I believe. And, and I think he was talking about magic. He wasn't sure if he needed those yet, but he knows he's going to need agility and perception because he's been using a lot of those already. So it looks like he puts two points into perception, eight points into agility and the rest into strength, which is good. I'm really happy about that. Like he's noticing the traits that he has been using and the ones that are useful to him as he is right now. And he is balancing a little bit. So I'm really happy about that. And I think that's just going to make him even stronger, like an even better hunter as time goes on. And you can see the title wolf assassin up there as well that he got from defeating all of those wolves in his own special dungeon, which was really cool. And I did want to mention that I noticed none of the names of the, or, or like, you know, the, the colors of the monsters he's fighting in this gate are popping up. And I assume that's because it's not a dungeon, like from the system kind of thing. It's a separate gate, so like the power levels, and he can't really tell by looking at the color of their name kind of thing. I think that was specific to the dungeons that he's been, well, the one dungeon he went into by himself last episode. Landlord calls him up, everyone's worst nightmare, you know, it's about rent, of course it is, but now that he realizes how much stronger he is, he should be able to do all of these, you know, still, I guess, maybe E rank, D rank gates, given he's still an E rank hunter, but he'll be able to actually participate, take down some of these lower level monsters and actually get some loot to be able to, you know, pay rent more comfortably which is really good for Jinu and his sister. And I did talk about this as well, but he is talking about, look, people don't really understand what I'm going through. I don't really know what I'm going through. Is this a reawakening? Like I've never heard about this whole leveling up thing and, and all this stuff I get to see in, in the system. Is this something I should be going public about? The media are gonna eat it up, you know, the whole nail sticking out situation. And pretty much he wants to understand what's happening to him. He did mention a few episodes ago that all these things happening to him, uh, you know, there's, there's something going on here. And he wants to understand more about that before he really starts to, I guess, go public or, or maybe go for a, a reassignment in terms of how strong he is as a hunter, which I think is a very smart move. Obviously, I wanna know like actually where he stands, but I think we'll get an idea of that next episode after he fights this C rank boss but he finds a job he can go and take. It is a C rank gate led by Huang here. And we've been through all this situation throughout the episode. It's clearly a setup. 
Huang and the rest of his team, uh, it seems like they probably do this regularly. They bring on a bunch of uh, low rank hunters just as extras to fill the quota, just to have them, you know, killed off as an accident in inside the gate, and then they can take more of the loot for themselves. And that's exactly what's happening here. So Jinhu and Jinhu, I'll grab the actual pronunciation of his name. Yu Jinhu, I'm actually gonna call him Yu, so I'm not saying like Jinhu and Jinhu and, and getting all confused. But this is Yu's first dungeon. He said that the really cool armor he has is a, is a gift from his father. And he also said he's really good with legal stuff. So I, I imagine, I don't know if they mentioned this, but I imagine his father might be someone like in, in like law or, or something like that. Or maybe he's just really smart, but that's really interesting because obviously his father is very rich. And I said this during the episode, but, but Yu looks like exactly the kind of guy who you would expect to get killed off in this situation. And that was the plan. And as we enter the gate, there's all these like bugs, like ants, kind of crazy monsters. Jinu is the one who's actually able to realize where they're coming from because of his heightened perception and just how strong he's become. Really cool abilities on some of the guys uh, in, in this guild. I don't know if it's a guild or in, in this party, I guess. I, I love the creativity of like, there's the light and there's Huang had a taunt, I think. Classic like MMORPG stuff, really cool. And it seemed like Jinu was able to realize the plan was for the guys in the party to pretty much kill off him and you uh, pretty much whenever they made a misstep, like at any point. But when they got to the end of the room and they found all these mana crystals, they're looking at this like, this is gonna be a lot of money. We're gonna split it seven ways, with Junu being the exception, but that's where Yu comes in and he's able to go, hey, look at this in the documents that Junu signed, right? It was for, he's not gonna get any loot from the monsters, but this ain't loot. This is just part of the dungeon. This is stuff that's going to be mined. I don't know if it's a dungeon. I feel like I should be saying gates. And then Huang is just, you know, oh, of course we'll, we'll split it eight ways. But then of course the guy has forgotten some of the gear back. So they have to go. And he says, hey, Jinu and you, you guys stay here. Why in the world would they have to stay? Obviously that would be a bit suspicious, but Jinu was all over it, obviously. And there's a couple of little details I want to draw attention to in this episode. I don't know if they're going to matter. Yu is talking about the president of the firm who was handling the site where the gate is. And it looks like a big construction site saying that he fled overseas with all this money that he accumulated and, and just left the situation as it was basically. And then later in the room with all the mana crystals, Huang is looking at them and talking about his younger brother, Dong Su. And my first reaction was maybe his brother was like in here mining mana crystals and that's how he got really rich and then left. But I don't think the gates work like that. I don't think there's any relation to those two points, but I just wanted to talk about it because it popped into my head. I think this is purely just about, you know, Huang and his brother. Maybe his brother told him not to be doing this kind of stuff, but here he is and he thinks he's going to get rich from these mana crystals, but we'll, we'll see. So the big C rank boss is this massive spider j just sleeping up at the top. They want to take all the mana crystals, but it's interesting when they leave and they lock Jinu and you in the room with the spider I'm thinking like how are they getting the mana crystals is the monster gonna beat Jinu and you the party members are thinking and it's just gonna go back to sleep and then they can come in and take the crystals like that must be the play but obviously what's gonna happen here is I reckon Jinu is probably gonna defeat the monster and there'll be some drama with him and the party members I don't know we'll have to see it's it, it's really interesting but Jinu is all over these guys at this point I can't imagine after he potentially defeats the monster he's gonna come out and be like yeah let's all split all, all these mana crystals between us maybe there'll, there'll be some conflict that'd be really interesting but Jinu's perception is really interesting because you can see he's realizing something's off something is not right he couldn't pinpoint exactly what it was so the only thing his perception has helped him with in this gate was knowing that the bugs were coming from the top, right? It didn't help him avoid the situation of being trapped in this room with the spider. It just helped him be aware of the fact that something could happen and something could go wrong. So potentially I can imagine that if there were more points in his perception, maybe even down the track, he'd be able to stop this kind of thing happening before he even got in the situation. But I'm still saying, I feel like this spider is gonna be an easy match for Jinu. I don't know how to compare it to the massive snake because like I was saying, we can't see the color of its name or whatnot. And shout outs to you, by the way. He's actually a really good guy. Like he's trying to do the right thing. He's like, I'm younger, so don't worry about being polite to me. Like I'll protect you. I think you was D rank and, and Jinu's E rank, obviously. So so you still feels like he can protect Jinu. Obviously we, we feel like Jinu's a lot stronger at this point, but Jinu's looking at this situation at the C rank boss and he's an E rank hunter. And he's saying this thing is literally rank wise on a different level level than me and then he kind of hears himself say that and he flashes back to the big statue and goes a whole different level huh kind of thinking that he himself is on a whole different level right now as well and then he steps in and says i'm gonna fight this thing i'm gonna see where i'm at and i would be it would be so cool if this was easy for him and you is the only one that actually witnesses jinu take this thing down and, and then it's gonna create this whole dynamic between him and the rest of the party members that are down there like how is Jinu able to take this thing down? Maybe he'll say it was 
versus you. Maybe he'll say he got lucky. It, it's really interesting. I, I can't wait to see what happens. And I can sit here and talk about what could potentially happen all day. But I think I'm just going to wait to see what actually happens. And I imagine it's going to be really cool based on what we got with that fight with the snake as well. But that's it, another cliffhanger. They're really going hard with the cliffhangers early in this season, which is good, you know, it keeps you invested and makes you think about what's gonna happen. Still really enjoying this show so far. It's only getting better. I love how much Jinu has changed uh, just in the span of five episodes. Really makes me think how different he is going to be going forward with the season and for however long the show does go on for. So I'm gonna leave this one here. Thank you all so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please consider leaving a like and subscribing to the channel if you wanna see more content like this and for other shows as well. And as always, Please continue to leave your comments and feedback down below. You know, I always appreciate it. And we'll see you on the next episode of Solo Leveling.